This week's Hawaiian Volcano Summary. Kilauea is still quiet, but getting ready to erupt still. Mauna Loa is still quiet and not getting ready to do anything as far as we can tell. This is a live view under Kilauea right now. You can see it's, it's still fuming quite a bit. Gas is escaping from beneath this crusted crater floor. There's still magma underneath here. And there's more being injected into the volcano and building up pressure, causing a lot of earthquakes, ground tilt, uh, all exp expressing as inflation in the volcano here. So, to summarize Kilauea, here is the earthquake rates for the past year. You can see at the right end of the graph here that our earthquakes per week have been over 800 the last couple weeks, and it looks like this week we're on pace to exceed that as well, right over here. And as you can tell, this has now gone on for a full six and a half, seven weeks or so, which is exceeding the time, time that it took to build up to the January 2023 eruption. And it's also exceeding the earthquake levels. That one built up to about 600 earthquakes per week, and now we're over 800 fairly regularly, sometimes a little bit less. But you can see that this period of adjustment is pretty intense here for Kilauea. So we really are primed and ready to go. It's just a matter of the earthquake cycles uh, as magma is injecting the volcano, building up pressure, pushing the ground a little bit out of the way. That generates the earthquakes. If the ground moves just enough, it can make more space, and then you can basically start to cycle over again. At some point, the ground won't move anymore, and that's when it will have to pressurize and burst towards the surface, uh, or burst then to some crack laterally. Whether it's to the surface, it'll be an eruption. If it's laterally, it'll be an intrusion if it stays underground. But in either case, those things can still happen without a whole lot of uh, buildup um, at any point now, given that we're primed for that situation to occur. So those are the earthquake rates. Uh, looking at the map for the last month, here's how it looks on Kilauea. These are colored by depth, so really it's this cluster up here by Kilauea Summit. You can't even see the caldera under there are the main interest of the, of the, of the activity. There's still the feeder zone deep in Pahala, but it's unaffecting the surface directly. And we still have adjustment of the south flank over here. That's this big chunk of land that's just south of the rift zone, which itself is right in here. And you can see that as the volcano is pushing its way out from the summit, this piece of land is moving to adjust it, and that's what's making the space, generally speaking, something along those lines um, in a smaller scale pattern that exists closer to the summit here as well. So it's still building up quite a bit, and if we look at the tilt, here is the tilt for the last month, rising about 11 micro radians in that time, which is a fair amount, uh, definitely noteworthy. So that's Kilauea, still ready to go, we're just waiting for the moment for it to happen. And on Mauna Loa, the story is earthquakes are still quite low. There is inflation still happening overall in the long term. So magma is coming into that volcano and collecting underground. But it's not pressurizing anything to the point where it's causing any earthquakes or anything like that. So that's when you know that the volcano is still in a steady state and it's not building towards an eruption. So that's all expected and normal for Mauna Loa. And that's our Hawaiian Volcano Summary for the week.